We are back at it again here with another video with Invest for tomorrow. To all the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all the subscribers, welcome back. I'll ask for a return this video. Smash that like button to let me know you watch this video. Helps out the YouTube channel and lets me know you appreciate the time and effort I put into making these videos. Now, here we have on the screen ATIF stock, and this is a stock that is presenting a possible opportunity. We're going to break it down. We're going to look at why this is the number one stock setting up to possibly squeeze and everything about it in the charts moving forward. But before we do, I want to share with you guys the home run of the week from last week and the stocks I mentioned on Friday morning over at the Discord. And you can become part of that as well by joining. The link is down below. Let's jump into it. And then we're going to get all over the data and the information and the chart here with ATIF. We're going to dive deep into it and break it down in this video. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the home run of the week. And I usually talk about the home run of the day. The stocks I mentioned this morning gave realistic expectations of 3 to 5%. The highest performer was IMPL, giving jumps of 10 to 15% at its highest peaks from the bottoms and the rips. And here we are to talk about the weekly watch list. Because a lot of investors sometimes feel like daily opportunities might not be the fit for them. Well, there's a fit for everyone in the community and you can always learn and grow by being part of the community, right? And here we are to share the weekly watch list home run. We had two stocks that performed pretty well between 10 to 20%, but the home run of the week was charge point. And we're going to talk about the whole entire list in just a moment. And if this is something that interests you and you want to become part of, you're more than welcome to join us. The link is down below in the description to the discord. And by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors. All looking to learn and grow together and you'll gain access to both the patreon and the discord by joining so chpt i talked about it on the 29th right this was sunday pins was the worst performer of three to five percent and voozy gave us ten percent plus on the week from its lowest point to the highest point so the same principles that i look for on daily opportunities to happen within the day within that same week i'm looking for five to ten percent ten to twenty percent and 20% plus moves. And here we have it. Charge point was at 2124. And I talked about how earnings was coming up. Analysis price targets were looking still pretty strong. And the stock here on the 30th, right, hit a low of 2073, came back up, came back down, hit a high here of 2170, came back down, hit a high here of 2190 something. And that right there alone was five to 10% move. So even right there, if somebody didn't feel comfortable going into earnings, that was pretty decent move. And then it pulled down right to $21 and took off to a high here of $24.78 into the next day, nearly 25%. This was a 20% plus move, a home run for the week, something you can become part of as well. We look for opportunities daily, weekly, and even monthly because some of these weekly opportunities can turn into monthly opportunities based off the charts and what it's looking like. We look forward to having you join us. Check out the link down below. And if you become interested in joining the 42 vision tier level, you'll be able to see when charts are looking weak, when they're looking strong based off the candlesticks and specific levels on the charts. And it takes the trading experience to a whole new perspective and experience overall when it comes to looking at charts and looking where momentum and weaknesses and let's jump into these charts so here we are with atif and we just recently saw it bounce up pretty high to the fives and pull right back down to the twos and the most recent low before this one to five split on august 30th was 214 so the lowest point of the 52 week range is 211 and the highest is 1170 right that we've seen in the last 52 weeks now the stock is actually in an upward trend from that recent low spiked up pulled back down to the twos and it's at 385 we're going to look at the count of share float as well as the short interest you're going to see that short interest is not as high as we usually would want it to be but it's coming up with a high short squeeze score based off of the conditions of where the stock is at and i'm assuming that five percent could be significant due to the fact of the low float that this company has and what it just went through with this split. This is the big red flag for me right now. Okay. Based off of where it's at, I'm going to really be looking for a possible pullback 
or if some weakness happens or consolidation. But this stock is in an upward trend when you look at it. And I would be looking at that resistance level up here, the 560s, 570. But let's jump into the information and then we're going to break down the charts. Because here with 42 Vision, you can see where the weakness was. And you can see when the shift in momentum happened and where the strength came back. And you could see here that it had a little bit of weakness, shifted back into strength, and it's been pushing upwards. And it's been shifting towards strength, slight weakness, and then it keeps going with strength as you can see it, right? So this is just showing that upward momentum. I just want to break it down and share with you guys what I'm seeing. So the first thing is why it's the number one stock to possibly squeeze, penny stock to possibly squeeze, is it's the number one on the list, right? You have here the borrow fee rate of 51.75 and the short squeeze score is 98.1. Okay, that's pretty big. Days to cover is 0 0.06 and short interest float is 26.59. That's what it's showing here in the current standings. But when we go over, right, to the other sources, you could see here that the short float is 5.5. 0.32. This might not be updated. That's why it's probably holding itself back from the information. So one source is showing 26. The other source is showing 5.32. So super important to be aware of this. And there is a discrepancy here. This could be delayed. But if this is the correct one, right? 5%, it might have already been priced in here on this jump. Or... There's no reason for this to actually show us such a high short squeeze score and being number one of this whole entire list. This might be the correct information. Now, if neither of them are correct, right? Let's say 5% is not the truth and 26% is not the truth. Where the stock stands right now, whether it's 5%, 26%, the outstanding share count, right? Even though they did that split is pretty low. So potential here for this to push upwards is there just based off the short float and also based off of the shares outstanding, right? The share float overall, which is a pretty low float for this company and the price point of where it's at. And it could actually spike up just with momentum of investors interested in piling on in, right? And you can already see how much momentum to the upside has been pushing this. Now, it's not showing any clear signs of a reversal at all. If anything, it's just showing upward trend. Weakness here on the one day, you can see how things look different from a microscopic to a microscopic level, right? Bigger picture. And this is just building that momentum. I mean, it's been a shift. And the next shift after this would be, you know, green, right? From dark green to green. And it will constantly keep on going higher. Like you could see where these shifts have happened before, right? And it's going upwards and it went from five dollars to 12 and 11. i'm not saying it's going to do that exactly the same again but it's getting out of this hole right here down in the twos pushing up to the threes almost fours and it's going to have to break through 565 to definitely show some significance and if that gets crossed the next point of reference i'll be watching is up here at the 870s to see how it's doing within that area so right now momentum on the one day is showing upward trend on the 30 minute on a more microscopic level showing the same thing and then we have here five percent on one end then on the other end we have the short interest float of 26 and it's showing a 98.1 score so when we come over here to the short shares available last 27 minutes this was updated right it's showing 45,000. that's pretty low right and the whole entire amount the fee rate right there let's see the fee rate over here it's actually, uh, it's not showing it here, but the fee rate is right there in front of us, right? 51.75. And then you could see here the short volume ratio daily is near 50% at the highest points and lowest points, nearly 40% at that 39.46 mark. And then also we have the fells to deliver each day reporting thousands, not just hundreds, but thousands overall. And that's something to be aware of as well so pretty big deal here with what's going on how many there is available left and that's probably some covering that happened as it's going upwards or they're just continuing to pile on in and they might even make that go to zero and the closer that gets to zero 
and the less short shares are available, the more explosive this could be based off the data. I look forward to seeing your thoughts down below, how you feel about this, but even in the position where it's at, which is nearly a dollar and 70 cents or 80 cents away from these lows, I mean, and the 52 week low, this has potential to the upside in the momentum that it's going. And it's going to be important to see if it actually consolidates, pulls back, or starts to continue that momentum with strength based off the one day and the 30 minute as we see it here with 42 vision. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.